everyone, I hope you're all really well. So I have just got back from a lovely weekend away. So we've headed down to London, had a much needed night off. So I've got a couple of outfit ideas to show you, plus of course what I wore that evening. I also popped into COS and did a bit of a try on, found some really beautiful pieces in store. I was also very fortunate to be invited to Liberties to have my makeup done by a professional at Trish McAvoy, which was such a lovely treat. And if that wasn't enough, I've also got a bit of Botox in a jar which cost me about £10 and a favourite new hair curler too. So lots of things to share with you all today, we better get started. So today we are heading down to London for a bit of a night away, which is very exciting. Um, David's launching a new album and I am venturing out out for the first time in quite a while. But I thought I'd take you along with me to show you everything I wear over this weekend and what we do. Something a little bit different with a bit of a vlog. So let me show you first of all what I'm wearing today. I'm kind of going for comfort more than anything else really. So I'm wearing one of my favourite jumpers. This is the Accru version, which is a cotton knit. On my bottom half, I am wearing long white wide leg trousers. And on my feet, I am wearing uh, my Samba trainers. I think I'll probably go with my long black coat to finish and then just tying in that black with my skinny belt as well. I better go get my stuff together and head for the train. So we got down to London fairly early and actually we checked into a hotel that I've never stayed at before. It's called The Standard, um, which is near King's Cross. It was a really, really cool hotel. I mean, it's fairly pricey, but it's the centre of London. But I really liked the room. It kind of had a bit of a mid-century sort of vibe. And at the top of the hotel is a restaurant, I think, called Desenio. So we popped up there for a lovely glass of wine at lunchtime, which felt like we were really spoiling ourselves, and had a little bit of Mexican food. And then first of all, I headed off to an appointment in Liberties to have my makeup done by the professionals at Trish McAvoy. Now, as you will see in this footage, it was such a treat. They literally started from scratch, giving me a little bit of a face massage with all their lovely products. And then the makeup artist, who is really sweet, just talked me through all the different products he was using and why, which was good for me actually, because I think I'd kind of got into a bit of a habit of, you know, you get a bit of a routine going with your makeup that I probably had since I was about 22, and you don't deviate from that very much unless you get your makeup done by the professionals, and then you kind of think, oh, actually, there's probably a better way I can do this. And they very kindly gave me a lovely selection of makeup to take home with me. So, in fact, actually, the makeup that I'm using today is all from Trish McAvoy. So I've had a little go myself. It's obviously not quite as good as a professional makeup artist would do but I'm just learning to get the hang of it with that slightly thicker foundation but I'm really really impressed with her products so as you can imagine I was feeling incredibly relaxed and very spoilt by this point I then had time to have a little bit of a mooch around town and do a bit of shopping so first of all I wanted to pop into Pandora they've got a couple of different stores on Oxford Street and actually I went to both of them because I was looking for something specific so as lots of you know I am very lucky to be an ambassador for Pandora and although they were a little bit pricey I'd had my heart set on a pair of earrings which I knew that are the sort of pair you would have for life and they are Pandora's signature solid gold hoops which are 14 karat gold. Now these actually in style match the bangle that I've got but I do wear hoops on a daily basis and I thought it would be a really nice treat to have the matching earrings that go with that bracelet. So next on my lovely little mooch around town, I headed over to Cos to have a little bit of a try on in store, see what's new in, as they had just had an arrival of the new spring collection. So first of all, I had, of course, to try on a beautiful camel trench coat. Now this one is slightly different from mine. The one that I've got and the one that I use quite a lot is a midi length, actually. Whereas I would say Cos do that oversized look particularly well. They've kind of got that balance between not looking drowned in fabric, but looking on and oversized, they've got it just right, I think. The one thing I wasn't sure of on this, which let me know in the comments what you think below, was the addition of the sort of scarf hood thing. Kind of felt a little bit odd, it felt a bit out of place. So it is detachable, so you could take that off and I probably would. But in terms of the length of this trench coat, that slightly oversized feel and the color, I thought this one was really, really nice. Next up, I know it's a basic, but I thought this was a really, really good staple when it comes to a white t-shirt. Now I've not had chance 
to check on the website yet, but I think this felt like it was made from some sort of knitted linen. If it's not, it's a really good replica of a linen t-shirt. I have been looking for a linen t-shirt recently and it's quite hard to find actually, um, but this one felt really, really lovely. Um, maybe it's mixed with a bit of viscose because it had probably more structure to it than 100% linen. But as you can see, hopefully in this footage, it's got a really lovely fit. Quite tight fitting actually for a small, I would normally say that comes up a little bit looser at cos, but nicely so. I quite like how it's sitting on the sleeves. It just felt like a really good fit, but it was a sort of capsule wardrobe basic that felt like it had been elevated a, a notch or five. <laughs> now one thing cos do particularly well is of course stripes and pairing that actually with their knitwear. Really, really like their knitwear. I think it's always beautiful quality. They use some really nice yarns and they're always really sustainable with their processes as well. So this is a lovely boxy shaped cardigan that I found in a crew and I think, I am going a little bit colorblind I think, but I'm pretty sure these are black stripes running through it, correct me if I'm wrong. I like the addition of those deep front pockets too, I thought that was something a little bit different and although obviously it's a cardigan and you could wear that undone, I like the shape so much that I probably mostly wear that one done up actually. Now I was on the hunt for a new pair of white jeans actually and I'd noticed on Cos's website that they'd bought out a barrel leg version. So I was eager to give those a try. Not sure on their sizing, I actually took into the changing room the eight and the 10. So this is the eight that I'm wearing and I would say this has got the perfect fit if you are a size 10. Basically size down is what I'm trying to say. And even though it's barrel leg shaped to the jeans, which I know some women really aren't keen on, I thought this was actually a really subtle barrel leg shape that it was actually really, really flattering. So I do really like them. I think they are a great pair of white jeans. Something a little bit more tailored now, but again, staying with the trench coat is this lovely khaki interpretation. Now the fabric on this, again, I haven't had time to double check, but it felt more structured than the first one that I tried on. It's definitely heavy weight but not too heavy for spring and perhaps it's got a little bit of viscose in there it's had a slightly different feel to it if I was to compare the two I would say this one was probably a little bit more polished whereas the first one in the camel was a bit more relaxed and everyday kind of style so while I do like the element of it being a bit more polished I wasn't so keen on that belt portion I thought that felt a little bit odd and I'm not really sure on those buttons either in fact I've got a bit of a thing against they haven't done anything to me I shouldn't be so mean to them but I don't really Really like those metal clasp buttons. To me they feel a little bit cheap and for such a beautiful structured trench coat it seems a shame to have used that. But anyway they might not bother you quite as much as they do me but that for me was just that one slight thing that I thought let down this particular coat. So as promised a little beauty interlude and a couple of things that are really making me smile this week plus something that I could really do with your support on. Now I actually already filmed this part before, I've gone to edit it this morning and realised that I really, really annoyingly deleted it for some silly reason. So anyway, here I am filming it again, but it's worth it because I've got some really lovely things to show you all. So firstly, a touch of baby Botox in a bottle, which cost me less than £10. Now apparently this little beauty contains argoline, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that is meant to smooth out your fine lines and your wrinkles. And while no, I will Will admit it doesn't completely get rid of all of my lines. It does definitely smooth them and kind of fade them, almost like blur them out I'd say, by about 50% which I think for £10 is really rather good. Now before I move on to my next gem of a find I just wanted to quickly mention something that I'm actually going to be doing over on my Instagram page which I think you will all enjoy and hopefully find really helpful. So starting on Monday the 15th of April I shall be doing the 75 hard style challenge. Essentially the rules are to document my outfit every single day for the next 75. I can show anything I want but all the outfits must be from my existing wardrobe. Now the idea of this is by sharing what you wear it really encourages you to choose pieces that you've already got and of course on top of that discover lovely new ways that you could wear them for spring and then into summer. Now I can't promise that I will actually manage to post every single day for the next 75 but I'm going to really really try my best to complete it and I would be so very grateful for all of your support with this particular challenge. It's going to be hard, clues in the name Jessica, but it does sound quite fun actually so I'm really up for the challenge. So please do follow along and hopefully gain lots of 
of outfit ideas and inspiration along the way. Plus, if you fancy joining in, do let me know in the Instagram comments what you styled that day. And I shall be sharing all my favorite looks from all of you too in my stories. Send me a wave in the comments over there so I know that you're there. And let's see if I can do 75 outfits from my existing spring summer wardrobe. So another two newbies that I would recommend are for your hair from GHD. Now most of my hair irons um, over the years actually have been from GHD anyway, so I was very excited to try out their new hair dryer. And on top of that, they're all singing or dancing new Kronos hair straighteners. This hair dryer was brilliant timing actually, because not only had my old one just died a very sudden death, but these two items actually arrived on my birthday too. So a lovely treat. Now I'll admit when a brand does these big sweeping statements that a product does something truly amazing, I am always a little bit skeptical. But I can hand on heart say that the comment that this will drastically cut blow dry time in my experience is absolutely true. Weirdly so actually. My hair usually takes forever to dry and for some reason, I don't know how they've done it, but with this particular hairdryer it was so much quicker. Which is literally music to my ears because I find it such a pain to sit there for ages drying my hair. It's not a luxury or a lovely kind of spa feeling for me, I just want to get it done and get cracking with everything else I need to do. And then on to the Kronos straighteners, which I have to say are actually amazing. Now I usually use my GHD wand, the slightly curved one, uh, to curl my hair and then I have an old pair of straighteners that I, I used for my fringe, that GHD as well actually. However, when I used my old straighteners to try and curl my hair before, I'd end up with these weird kinks, almost like a, you could see the bend where I tried to turn it into a curl. But with the Kronos, when you're trying to do a curl, it makes a much smoother, much more natural looking curl. In fact, my hair today actually, I've done with the Kronos. So you can see it's a little bit softer, not quite so fake looking, I suppose. So I'm definitely going to be switching to those ones instead. Right, I'm gonna stop chit chatting now and let you get back to where we were before with our little trip to London and a bit of a mooch about the shops. But don't forget, Monday the 15th of April, bright and breezy for day one of my 75 hard style challenge. Hopefully I will see you there. So after cars, I headed to, where did I go? Oh, I went to Free People. But in actual fact, although I was kind of eager to try a few things on in there, because I do really like that brand, I didn't find anything I even wanted to try on, which is a bit odd really for me. I think Free People really come into their own when you get through to summer. Maybe it's just too early, everything was a little bit in between the section. So anyway, didn't find anything in store there. As you will have gathered in my vlogs, I do tend to drag David around all of these lovely fashion stores. So he got me back actually on our weekend away in London and I had to go and hover for about half an hour at record shop. Thankfully they had a nice big squidgy sofa in there so I could chill out for a bit before we finally headed back to the hotel. So back at the hotel and it was time to get ready for heading out for the evening and this is what I wore. So this is what I'm going to wear tonight. Changed about three times. I was going to wear, wear the lace bodysuit just over a black bra but it kind of made you have like this band of white skin under there and it looked a bit odd. So I've just layered a little black camisole underneath. Basically I could have just worn any v-neck cami underneath and it had the same effect because you can't even see I'm wearing a lace bodysuit now. But never mind I feel Comfortable. I've got my flared jeans on, my dark denim ones. These ones aren't available at the moment actually, so I shall link a good alternative. And then my really dark blue. It never shows up the colour. Oh, that's a good example of the colour. That is the blue of my navy blazer. My round belt, my high ankle boots, which I can dance all night in. And that's me set for the evening. I'm actually secretly in my head planning that I'm going to go for the dinner, which is in the club. David will start DJing. He'll be busy. I think I might last till about one o'clock and then I might just sneak off back to the hotel. So I've got to get up early to talk to all of you on YouTube. And I don't really fancy being up till three a.m. when David actually finishes work. So yeah, that's my secret plan to sneak off back to the hotel. We shall see if that one actually works. So the cross in London actually used to be down in a Coles Drops Yard or Coal Drops Yard, <laughs> King's Cross. Really, really famous. Everybody used to know and love that night. And I think we've even got a coffee table book of it as well, actually. So David had DJed there quite a few times before. But obviously that area has now been redeveloped. Some lovely shops down there. And the cross has just reopened. I think it was a year ago now. So actually, although it still felt 
like the cross in the kind of atmosphere, it's a very different vibe in terms of the whole aesthetic. So on the ground floor, you've got tables, you can order food. We had a lovely meal, really, really nice. Um, I think it was kind of like a, a Lebanese tapas kind of food, really, really delicious. And then on the other floors that evening was private events going on. I think there was um, someone's birthday party on the second floor and something else going off on the third. But down in the basement is a nightclub. So it was really lovely to catch up with friends, have a little bit of a dance. And as it happens, I sneaked off about half past 12 and managed to get into bed for about one in the morning. Thought it was rather good for a, a London night out. So on Fridays, we dress down, but we do it in a very Vogue kind of fashion. As you can see, I am wearing a new sweatshirt that's just arrived actually very kindly and very luckily sent to me from Vogue. I also chose the bag to go with it. And um, there you can see actually the full print uh, from Eduardo Benito. So I actually just went outside to try and do an outfit check. <laughs> it's so hard to film and you feel like a complete lemon doing it, but it's a bit of a thing. The algorithm does really like it. So I try and do them. But essentially what you need to do is go onto your street with your camera or your phone and a tripod and sort of walk backwards from the phone, try and show your outfit, do a little bit of a turn and walk back. But what Instagram failed to appreciate is that you're not only dealing with the wind and the sun and the rain and there's mud on the floor and you're trying to walk backwards and you're trying to do it elegantly and not trip over and you look a bit of a lemon for everyone across the road at co-op who's staring at you wondering what you're doing. So I shall put a little clip here of my attempt at this outfit check but bear in mind I'm very much a beginner on this front. So the pale yellow just sat against my new favourite white jeans and then very simply gone for my Nike high tops on my feet. And then of course I do think my lovely tote from Vogue finishes off the outfit perfectly. What do you think? Actually, while I'm stood here, I wanted to ask all of you a favour because I think you will probably all be a lot better at this than I am. So I was out here doing the lawn the other day Oh gosh, that's bright, hold on. So this is our not so glamorous looking garden. Um, as you can see, I, I've tried to make an effort and plant those trees and then I just got completely lost and thought, I don't know what to do next. So do you have any ideas? So a north facing garden, what could I plant along that back row that does get some sunshine, but obviously you have to bear in mind that we're facing the wrong direction. So I've got those trees, I was thinking a bit of grass and you know, like those nice grasses. Gosh, you can tell I'm so good at this, can't you? Um, I have got some alliums and some tulips planted in there already, but it just needs something else because those weeds just take over and it doesn't look very pretty. So I kind of thought that lots of you are probably a lot more green fingered than I am. I really want to make it quite a pretty garden, but I'm just at a loss as what to do or how to get to that stage. So any advice or ideas would be very much appreciated. Do let me know in the comments. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog of a wonderful weekend away, much needed break actually, and some lovely finds that I found along the way. It's always lovely to hear from you in the comments section below. So really nice to hear what was your favorite outfit in COS? And if anyone else has tried my little Botox in a bottle, do let me know, did you think it was good? Have a wonderful week everyone and I shall see you on Sunday. Take care.